Welcome back to my channel, guys. Stay tuned to see my daughter and I breeze through this charcoal grill assembly. Okay, well, maybe breeze through is kind of pushing it, but watch us put it together. Hello, guys. How y'all feeling? I love y'all. You love as much as ever. Baby, kiss me. Baby, kiss me. Before they turn the lights on. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys the footage of me putting together the charcoal grill and kebab by Blackstone and it comes with a motor that rotates the um, kebabs for you and so luckily I found a how to assembly video on YouTube and luckily the delivery guy was kind enough to put it in the backyard for us because as you can see it was so heavy and I don't know what I was thinking but I wanted to surprise him so I wanted to put it together myself and so some of you asked to see that footage so here it goes and I saw on um, the assembly video it said to take all of the packaging to take all of the parts out first and lay them out and I did that and they were kind of heavy but I managed and it was so far so good and so first up I had to put the handle on and that went pretty smooth and so I was confident and it was packaged very well all of the hardware and everything was packaged very well and, and very clearly labeled. So I was off to a good start, y'all. So the tutorial said that to attach the grill legs to the body of the grill. But I couldn't get those legs in anything. But it turns out it was not my fault. The grill was a, got a little bent during the ship shipping and handling. Did y'all see what I mean when I say it's bent? Can you guys see that? The place is supposed to go in here. But this part is bent. And so I had to get some pliers and bend it just enough so I can fit the leg in. So you guys, you see, it was not my fault. I have proven my case and it just took a little effort but I was not going to give up and I was able to get both legs in and put together and my kids were over this whole backyard makeover and surprise for their dad but since I did give birth to them I was able to guilt them into continuing to help me and to keep me well help I'll uh, define help later, but to keep me company while I kept trying to tackle this barbecue grill. And if you guys haven't done so already, go check out the reveal and the surprise when we um, show uh, my husband and their dad what all. And you guys, you couldn't tell me nothing at this by the time I got to this point because I was really making some headway and I had, all I had to do was pretty much um, attach this chimney or portion, whatever you call it, 
And so I was really comfortable. And now I just had to put on the handles and put on the side compartment trays. And I think that was it. And then I was ready to um, put all the stuff that I got for him inside it. So I was making the grill itself be like the gift basket. And I filled it with all the stuff that he was going to need. And then we um, finished the rest of the backyard. And then we surprised them. And so you guys, please check that out. It was a lot of fun and it was so worth it. And I really, and my kids were a big help. I was just joking. They were a big help. And I appreciate them and I appreciate you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Especially if you think I did a good job. Or even if you just felt sorry for me out there struggling with that grill. Go ahead, hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment of support. And thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Maybe pink like the holes in your heart.